Hi, my name is Erwin Ramirez Solano. I'm a student at the Faculty of Physical and Mathematical Science at WAP. My current work is in the simulation area, in particular, the orientational dynamic driven by an external field in multiple colors. So what's the main idea on this work? We are interested in the use of the Brownian dynamics treatment in the equilibrium for a non-interacting system of spherical colloidal particles under the effect of an external field to observe the appearance of the induced phase for the dipolar and quadrupolar colloid. Finally, for the quadrupolar colloid case one, we observe an anchoring process that confined to the colloidal particles in a normal and isotropic phase on different planes. In order to study the system, we need to analyze the translational and orientational movement in the short term scale, Brownian short time. So our model for the particle is the classic dipole and linear quadrupole with their corresponding field expression. When we apply the external field, each particle will have a potential energy it just depends on the polar anchor and the angle between the principal axis and the field direction, as we can see in this image. If a particle dispersion is so significantly diluted that each particle can be regarded as moving independently, the motion of this Brownian particle is governed by a Langevin equation. The classical method that we use is the Erman and McCammon algorithm for a diluid dispersion without hydrodynamic interaction. We need two motion equations, one for the transnational motion that only requires the initial position, as we can see in the equation number two, the position due to an external force, and the random displacement with the stochastic properties, zero mean, and variance equal to two times the translational diffusion coefficient per time. Another equation is for the orientational movement, and it requires the initial orientation, as we can see in the equation, equation number six, the orientational due to torque, particular external field, and the random orientation with zero mean, and variance equal to, the, to two times the rotational diffusion coefficient per time. And now for the dipolar particles, when we apply the external field in the positive zeta axis, we observe that the minimal energy configuration corresponds to the pneumatic phase. We observe the angle theta, theta is equal to zero and two p. So the system starts in, in an isotropic phase. We apply the external field and we observe a pneumatic phase, near orientational induced phase. For the quadrupolar particles, we observed two cases for minimal energy configuration. Case one, case two. So in the case one, we observe a normal phase with an isotropic planar phase. The angle theta is equal to P medium and three P medium. In the case two, we observe a pneumatic biaxial induced phase. Theta is equal to zero or P or two P. It looks like a pneumatic. In the case one, we observe a planar anchoring because the planar vector evenly distributed on a plane, the orientation vector. This n one component is equal to zero, and the remaining components they are not equal to zero. In conclusion, when we apply an external field on a dipolar colloid, an endocinematic phase appears. In case two, the diffusion is positive and growing. That means the external field brings an orientational order. But in case one, the quadrupolar colloid particles 
loss mobility to an anchoring process given by an external field. Thanks for your attention.